Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with Frisco Studios and today I want to walk you a little bit through the setup I have here to do live production at an event where I need to move everything around with me. There's no battery, there's no plug-in, there's no um, fees or anything. Everything I have here is on these two tripods. Right now I am here at the Frisco Arts Walk and I am doing a series of live hits for the Frisco Association for the Arts. I have three cameras. I'm actually talking into one of them because it's actually the easiest way to record because I'm actually set up to do it already. Um, this is an iPhone 5 with a wide angle lens. And then over here I have an iPhone 5 with a telephoto lens. And then over here I have my iPad with the built-in lens. And down here I have an audio mixer powered by an external battery supply. Over here I have an iPhone 4 Bluetooth into the mixer providing some music. And then I have uh, Bluetooth on channel one, I have my wired mic on channel two, a uh, host wired mic on channel three, a uh, shotgun mic on channel four, and then the output goes directly into the iPad, uh, a wired uh, feed into the headphone jack, and then uh, lightning on this side, I'm actually juicing the uh, devices up again uh, with a little bit more power. <laughs> You're not in the shot. This, this is this, hey guys. this is the host I'm doing the shoot for. Yes, oh, we're taking a picture. Perfect. <laughs> Hi, I'm finally here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. If you're not here yet, you still have time. UNT is coming. Am I alive? No. <laughs> I'm just I'm just used to being. I know. My cellular signal is provided right here. Uh, I have. Um, AT&T, LTE, and, but this is actually being shared to a, my hub, which is over here. And all of the phones connect to this wired hub. Let me check the battery, it still says full, which I find remarkable because I've been going for like three hours. So I have a phone that's providing music and checking on the hub. And then I have a phone providing my LTE and then I have a phone that goes up here, that's the one I'm holding, and that provides a wide angle, and then I have a phone over here that provides my close-up, and then I have the iPad, which is the control surface for everything. So you can see I've got my one, let's do that. Camera one is the iPad, camera two is the one I'm holding, camera three is the other telephoto one over here, and then I could even do one and two, and one, two, and three. So you can see all the different things that I can do at the same time with a mobile uh, setup, including my audio. Uh, I'm wearing a body mic. I'm wearing the backup uh, wireless microphone uh, that I brought for this production. And that is uh, a quick look at the, the mobile setup here. Let me give you a quick look at uh, how I'm having some power out here at the middle of this big event. I'm not plugging in the AC. What I do have is I still have a lot of these big uh, IDX batteries and then I've got a 12 volt plate that goes to a uh, cigarette lighter adapter which has multiple outputs that allows me to power multiple devices at the same time and goose up the uh, phone batteries because I literally have one, two, three, four, four phones and an iPad. So I've got a lot of devices going on here and it could conceivably grow from here. And the more devices you have, the more power you need. You could get a dedicated USB charger, or USB battery pack, but those typically have two outputs and I needed at least three for the three phones, so three iPad, iOS devices, and I could really use a couple more. So finding one with even more outputs is uh, where I'm going to be looking at in the future or splitting this out to a second uh, cigarette lighter and then using a second adapter with three more and then that way each one you know I have redundancy as well in case one fails I've got a second one that can still power things as well. In addition to showing you how I had set up my gear I want to show you what this gear was capable of doing. As you can see over here, I had a host who had a handheld microphone and he would interview various artists 
at this event as we moved around the event. That was the reason everything had to be on two tripods and including the power and the wireless signal and everything. I couldn't rely on anything at the facility because it was a very public event and there were going to be a lot of people on their Wi-Fi. So I had my own little hub and my own power and my own cameras and my own push to the internet. Now we're going to look at this stream. I have two samples to show you and both of these samples were recorded in the iPad using the uh, Switcher Studio software and these are recorded at 720p which is the uh, upload capability because I was streaming live at the same time. There's another mode in this where you can record a higher quality. I wasn't using that. I just wanted to make this as simple as possible because this was my first attempt at doing this whole entire thing as mobile as I was doing it. So let's look at those clips. So how are you feeling? Oh, I feel great. I'm out here painting and people are coming by watching me and then they come back again to see my progress as I'm going. They find it really inspirational to watch artists create live out here in the beautiful Hall Park. Absolutely, absolutely. So what got you started in, into the whole art? Oh goodness, I've been painting since I was a child and I just kept painting my whole life and that's, that's what I do. I've had my work in, in museums and be collected by people all over the world, so that's what I do. Outstand <laughs> outstanding, outstanding. What is one of the pieces that we see here today? Well, today I thought out here I'd uh, show some Texas pride and I... Uh, that was a really big project for me that I did last year. Outstanding, outstanding. So what's next for Misty after we do the unveiling for today, which is at 2 o'clock, by the way. You want to be here. This is live. Come on out. But what's next for Misty Oliver Foster? Oh, man. Uh, keep making art. I think that's the thing about the art. an artist is you never arrive you just kind of you just keep kind of striving to the next thing so. so this has been my look at on-site multi-camera live production I, I hope this has been informative for you and uh, it's been very exciting for me to try and do this and my name is Anthony Barocas with Frisco Studios thanks for watching